Good morning and happy Sunday guys. Uh, on this video I'll be showing how to use OAuth 2.0 on your shortcuts for iOS. Uh, this is a workaround for now. The uh, proper procedure is available. I just need a little bit more time to figure out how to do the documentation. But here is a sample of the results on mobile uh, once I have it done. So on my case scenario, I'm trying to use it for uh, posting, editing a blog or multiple blogs. So now I have it opening up, I go ahead and allow, and I go about my business. Here's the post, refresh. This is the second test, and I'll show you the desktop version and how I set this up. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, November 6, 2022, Sunday. Uh, to all of you shortcutters, uh, shortcut users, iOS users, uh, looking for a way to use OAuth 2.0 on shortcuts. I figured I'd share this. I was looking through the group over here on Reddit. And I'm new to Reddit, guys, so I don't actually know how to share or the etiquette, proper etiquette on sharing. I, sh I tried to share a shortcut the other day with the uh, Image Gen, the Dolly E2 shortcut, and I hadn't, I didn't even post the, the link for it because I wasn't aware <laughs> of how to do that. I uh, never really messed around with, uh, with that stuff. But anyway, I, got, I couldn't figure out how to... I'll do the all off in my situation i'm trying to create a blog post um through blogger uh, as, as i test so some of the engines and and products I, i'm building here as i wireframe it and everything so you know when you search for all off basically you don't have uh too many options and uh there was one one solution where you uh, basically uh host your own server with the php file uh, so I didn't go that route and um, the example some of these uh, users used was uh, Spotify. The Spotify one does look pretty good, uh, but I couldn't, since I didn't build it, it was hard for me to understand, obviously. Uh, so I got to kind of go over it now that I have a semi workaround for now. So let me just show you guys what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to make a post, right? And this is the last one I actually got it to work. So my workaround for now, because you actually can do all off through shortcuts, you just have to go through your Google console, API console, developer console, uh, get all the credentials, register all the stuff, which I did. You get the scripts, you get the P list and all that. And if you set it up right, it will work. Um, but I haven't delved into it enough to figure it out, fully understand it. So what I did was I went to the um, OAuth playground. And if you go here, you basically go through the through steps one, two, and three, and I said, okay, well, well, maybe I can just use this page and figure out because all my my information that I need is here. So what if I can just make this open up, and then I just get the information from there, either extract it as a JSON or whatever I can. Uh, so I was like, all right, well, let me try that. So uh, here you go. This is how it works. So let's say I click play. And I added, uh, so let's say, here we go. Let's do blog title. This is a test. Oh, and just so that we are clear that this isn't pre-done, I'll go back to the blog, refresh. All right, nothing there. All right, this is a test, all right? Title blog content all right this is exciting all right you're going to get the pop-up screen it's going to ask you to log in so i'm going to go ahead and log in allow boom so then you're going to get your playground uh, page here come up and all you're going to do is click Exchange authorization, authorization to, for code for tokens. Select. You're going to select your uh, token, which is what you need, a temporary token. You click done. It's going to copy over to a uh, clipboard and then execute the uh, post command. So in my case, again, it's a post command. So I'm going to refresh. So I wanted to make sure that it was working. So the, it was a success. And as you can see here, this is a test here it is this is exciting boom so it works so it's a temporary workaround you have one little extra step 
which is basically copying to your clipboard. But I mean, it, it, for the purposes of what I'm trying to do, and if anybody's trying to do it, it'll probably be sufficient because uh, usually you're probably just testing stuff here, or you know, it's, it's just something else. For me, I'm just testing out uh, some stuff here as I uh, basically build out my platform. It's just an easy way to do it without. So here we go. So just to break it down, uh, basically you put in your OAuth Playground URL in here, right? You create a URL, show web view, get clipboard, and then for a blog, and the situation for Blogger is this. So you would just have to change your JSON body to whatever it is, your Google API for whatever Google API it is. So go to the uh, OAuth uh, webpage and select your authorized APIs that you want to post to. So let's say you want to do Google Sheets, because I saw a lot of a lot of you liked uh, wanted to use Google Sheets as one of those um, one of the tools that you wanted to be able to manipulate uh, using. But you need a Google authorization. Uh, this is where you would select it. You copy the information that you need, and then go ahead and post. And then that's how it works with shortcuts. Uh, I hope this helps. If it does, if you have any questions, uh, just comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, it's been a while since I had to make a video, so excuse all the uhs, ohs, ums, and poor audio quality and video editing quality, etc, etc, etc. Anyways, the links will be below so that you can uh, hopefully be able to make this work for you. Shortcut and the authorization developer console uh, links. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll see you guys next time.